So, like everybody else, I decided to pick up Destiny 2, and now I'm going to talk about it, because internets. So with Destiny 1, I enjoyed it, but on its initial release, I felt like it just didn't have a lot of content, it didn't really have a story, but I did feel like the DLC helped to rectify some of the issues that were in Destiny 1's original release. Now we're here at Destiny 2, and I do think there's some really good things here. I really enjoyed the first mission. There's a lot of great stuff here. You got multi-layered parts, uh, you got a bunch of cutscenes that are interspersed in there, some comedy, it sets up a nice villain. I'm like, okay, so this is pretty much gonna be like the Taken King, but on a grander scale. And I'm perfectly fine with that because the Taken King is really where they started to get the story right. And well, have characters. Characters are cool. Now there are a couple things that I think that are just a little bit weird so far with this game. One, the avatar that you're playing as, like you don't talk anymore. In the initial game, you talked, and then in all the DLCs, your character was silent. So I didn't really understand that. I don't know why they're doing that. It's like, oh, I have a voice. I don't have a voice. I have a voice. I don't have a voice. Kind of feel like Bumblebee. Oh, I got my voice back. Now you're going to talk like a radio because we really like you talking like a radio. But didn't I get my voice back in the first movie? Yeah, but radio talk, man. Stick with the radio talk. Here, I don't know. I really enjoyed being able to have a voice. And now my character is just kind of like there, just watching, and I shoot stuff, which I guess is fine. But there is a part in the beginning of the game that I feel like... I don't know what they could do with it from a narrative perspective, but I feel like maybe something else could have been done. So at the beginning of the game, your light is taken away. Essentially, you have no powers. You're just fighting with guns. You don't have any of your cool powers. And then you go through like a mission without having them, and then boom, you get them right back again. There was like no time really without the powers. It didn't really let that sink in a bit. And I feel like the whole getting your powers back could have been a cooler thing from a narrative and maybe even a gameplay perspective if they did it a bit differently. The thing is, I don't necessarily know what they could do to really improve it, but I have seen it in another game where I really enjoyed how they changed it, how they did it. So in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, the big thing is, is that your character loses an arm in the beginning of the game. So loses an arm, gets a robotic arm. Towards the end of the game, the main bad guy basically rips off your arm so you have to fight through a whole level, okay, with only one arm, meaning you can't reload and every time you need more ammo you have to pick up another gun. So you feel really depowered, whereas for the most of the game, the whole experience, you really enjoyed using the exosuit, you got a bunch of powers, you felt empowered for the most part, you really enjoyed this stuff, and then they take it away at the end and you really feel depowered. What I like is following this mission where you only had one arm, you get this awesome mech suit which has like machine guns and rocket launchers and you're just blowing stuff up. It's a great way to end like a big action blockbuster like Call of Duty. And I liked this because I thought it was smart. It really made you appreciate getting that suit. You wouldn't have appreciated it as much if you went from being oh, I have all these powers, and now I pick up a suit. But being like, I have all these powers, I've gotten used to these powers, and then take them away, and then give them back to you, but then give them back to you with something more, it's awesome. It's like you having a cookie, you're about to eat the cookie, the cookie gets taken away, and then you wait a little bit, and the cookie is returned to you with a piece of cake. That's pretty good, or pie, whichever you want, or jello. No, you're not gonna take jello over that. Take the cake or pie. But you see what I mean? You get something a bit better, and you appreciate getting it then. I feel like Destiny could have done something with that aspect in terms of, oh, we took the light away, and when we give it back to you, you'll feel this, and there will be some, oh man, it's been some time without the light. I don't know how they would do this, but it's more so a question I really pose, and if anyone else has really thought about this while playing the game. Now there's a couple things that did impress me. You know what's one thing that really impressed me? Hey, how about going up to a ledge and your hand will go out and extend, grab the ledge, and pull yourself up. That's fantastic. I mean, I know I shouldn't have to commend, you know, climbing mechanics in modern day gaming, but hey, it's nice there, because nothing's worse than being in a first person shooter, jumping and being like, oh, my tippy toes just couldn't get over the ledge, and then you fall down, where you're like, hey, you're holding a handgun. Care to use that other arm to pull yourself up? You're supposed to be super strong, right? Yeah, no, all right. I've also really started enjoying the adventures in this game. So they're kind of like these mini quests and they give you some nice stories, some more character interactions. And I like that. They do feel like they're like patrols from the last game, 
but on a better scale. Like they're betterly done and I like that because certain things will be like you have to collect a certain amount of X amount of enemies, like parts from enemies. And then from there you create something else. But I feel like they give these narrative purposes to why you're doing things instead of being like, hey, go out there and collect a bunch of these things. Cause well, don't you like doing bookkeeping homework? You, yeah, that's fun, right? In a video game, yeah. I like that there's a narrative purpose to it because well, it makes me feel more a part of the world, and at the same time, too, I feel like it rewards a little bit of exploration. And with exploration, I like that there's these little mini dungeons that you can go and explore, and I like you can just kind of come across them and be like, oh, I'm gonna go find this. Oh, hey, there's a treasure chest in here. As of right now, I mean, I've played this for about seven hours, and I am enjoying it, haven't beaten the story, haven't touched multiplayer, haven't even played a strike. But I've enjoyed going about like the open world-ish section that I'm in on Earth, that's the only place I'm in right now, and playing the story missions. I also want to add too, I really like the music. I feel like it's uh, a change from the last game. The last game had amazing music, but this one, it feels more fantasy-like. And I know the game is kind of like, sci it looks sci-fi, but it really just goes for that space magic. And I feel like the music here really fits. I like some of the stuff they do, and some of it just kind of feels straight out of, say, like, a Tolkien fantasy type game than say Destiny, but oddly enough, it fits here and it's really good. So those are just my thoughts so far on Destiny 2. I wanna know what you guys think. What have you been enjoying? What have you not been enjoying? Are you just super excited about the shaders being consumable items? And you know, yeah, cause, cause that's, that's great. Or yeah, what's pissing you off about the game? What are you enjoying about the game? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, help my self-confidence. And if you want to help that even more, please subscribe and I'll see you next time.